Driving through parts of Hamilton County will mean a detour for commuters through part of Hamilton County beginning today. It's part of the huge improvements along US 31. RTV6 reporter Chris Prophet now with the latest project leading up to closing parts of 31 down completely in two years. This is the latest portion of the US 31 project in Hamilton County. It closes down a major road in Carmel. And with any big construction project, it doesn't come without its problems. This is the temporary neighbor for people in this Carmel subdivision. Construction on a new roundabout at 136th Street as part of the massive US 31 project. I'm going to have to take whatever detour they set up for me, which currently I still don't know <laughs> what it's like yet. INDOT will spend over $140 million to turn four intersections into roundabouts from 136th Street to 106th. Two of five segments of the US 31 project are finished in Hamilton County, but this is the the biggest and it's all in anticipation of what happens here in two years. The new roundabout that will be built here over the next two months will initially help move detoured traffic when the four-lane highway is shut down in 2015 for a major remodel. This will be the first roundabout uh, in that area and in the future will, it will help uh, traffic flow uh, especially during the planned closure of US 31 in 2015. At 136th Street, there's still access to this strip mall, but business owners initially concerned about customer access during construction are hopeful. The walk-in business we were worried about. We were concerned if our clients would be able to find their way in. Um, but I, I think we've got it taken care of. We've kept them informed. I think we're fine. INDOT says that the new US 31 Hamilton County project is expected to reduce traffic tie ups and improve safety, bringing 31 up to freeway standards. But for now, this is what commuters should get used to seeing. Chris Provitt, RTV6. Mm, also tonight, INDOT says single lane restrictions on both directions of US 31 between I 465 and Old Meridian Street begin tomorrow night. Those traffic restrictions are in place from 9 p.m. until 6 a.m. and last about a month.